Hi, I'm Dave Thomas with Cars.com, and we're here with the 2009 Mercedes M-Class. Now, there are just a few changes from last year, but one of the big ones is the introduction of the first clean diesel. It's called the ML320 Bluetech. Now, what's the difference between a diesel M-Class and a regular M-Class? Well, it's got a diesel engine. That means you've got to put diesel gas in it. Diesel gas these days costs about 30% more than premium gasoline, which you have to put in the regular V6. The mileage difference, it's about 20% better in the diesel, so you're off about 10%, but a lot of people like the diesel engine because it has a lot of torque, and this one's got a ton of torque, almost 400 foot-pounds of torque, and that's more than what's pumped out in the V8 ML550. Now last year we did a video on the ML550, and not much has changed from the 2008 to the 2009, so if you're interested in a V8 engine, go check out that video. Now the lineup's still the same. There's the ML350, which starts around 47,000, and the ML550 starts around 57,000. So this diesel fits right in between. It starts at $50,000. And one of the big changes for 2009 for the M-Class is this new navigation entertainment system. Nav is obviously an upgrade, but even the entertainment system's upgraded. It is a make or break feature in my mind, and it's a huge improvement from 2008. All the Mercedes for 2009 have it. You have gotta get it. So the navigation system, really crisp and clear, has a real live time traffic, which everyone should have these days. Um, but one of the cool things is very accurate. Last night, our soon to be President Obama had a huge rally downtown. It has the road closures that are still in existence right now, today, which are slightly different from yesterday. And you can see the changes and differences and it's really accurate. We had to drive through it actually to get here. If you're a music guy like me, Mercedes new audio system is for you. It's got a six disc built-in CD changer. It's got an SD slot right here, which takes SD cards. That's what you find in most digital cameras. So you can fill that up with music, put it right in there, the playlists come up on the screen. It's also got an optional iPod connector in the glove box. You plug that in, all your playlists digitally come up on the screen. And you can actually get to your playlist using this numbered keypad. It works just like your cell phone contact list. So if you want to cut to Modest Mouse or Nirvana, you hit the six button and it skips right to that part of the alphabet. Now when you're shopping for any SUV, the cargo area is important. And with the second row up, the M-Class has about 30 cubic feet of cargo room. With it down like we have now, 74 cubic feet. So it's more than the BMW X5, slightly less than the Audi Q7, but I think for most people, this is plenty of room. Now I've tested all the competitors like the BMW X5 and Audi Q7, and what I really like about the Mercedes M-Class is it's a really smooth ride, especially on the highway. Now, the V8 ML550, I'm not gonna lie, it's really fast and a lot of fun to drive. But if you just want some of the oomph and you wanna save about $7,000, the diesel's not a bad option. Now, if you thought diesel was too good to be true, there is one little catch. When you have clean diesel in an SUV this big, you need an additive to make it clean. The additive's called urea. Mercedes actually gives it a cool name, Add Blue, so you won't have to think it's weird. But it's in your regular maintenance schedule when you take it into the dealer for service. They'll take care of it, but it is one more thing you have to worry about. If it sounds like I really like the ML class, it's because I do. So do a lot of other people. It's one of Mercedes' best-selling models. And if you're into diesels, there's one more good reason to go check it out. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.